that time of year. Mud season, they call it. I'm already tearing up some of my yard here, but I'm going to fix it this year. I think I'm going to bring in some stone or something. But I'm going to ask you guys what I should do. Where the said, where the said, where the shed sits. It used to be an old foundation. It used to be a building here. Not sure if you can tell there, but that this is all concrete pad, or I guess a concrete pad. I guess you would call that. Anyways, it's all getting all broken up. Uh, it's falling through. There's holes. Um, it's starting to cave in over here. And I really don't have the money to bust all this up. And kind of redo it all because I really don't even know if I'm even going to keep this shed for a long term. Eventually, I like to put on a big garage and maybe even put the garage over here or something because I don't want to put a lot of money into this area. But all along up the driveway, our driveway is not very wide, so we constantly drive. Well, I constantly drive onto the grass and it turns all the mud and it gets really bad sometimes. Um, so I'm going to widen the driveway a little bit so I can bring my work truck in. But I was, uh, I saw her on somebody's YouTube channel. Uh, I'm trying to think of their name. Purely Living Life or something. I don't remember what they, what the heck they were. But he said he bought three quarter inch stone minus rock. Is that what it's called? three-quarter stone minus rock and I guess it's you know three-quarter like gravel but mixed in with all the little missing pieces and he says and it fits into the grooves of all the it all gets locked into one another and it goes and it really turns into like concrete the more you drive on it the more it gets wet and because this is this this is ridiculous my yard turns into a, this whole area where I kind of work. Oops, sorry. The whole area where I kind of work out of my little shop here, where I keep my tractor, where I do my work on my tractor, it is a big mess. And my thoughts were is bringing that loads and loads of that crushed stone minus rock or something, and actually filling in right underneath this whole carport thing all the way out to the back of the property over there and then filling in all over here and all the way down uh, quite a bit of the uh, the driveway the only uh, fear that I have is that when it comes to winter time when I go to snow blow because I actually did my neighbor when I got the new tractor I actually did my neighbor in um, there they have two driveways one of their driveways is paved and the other driveways was just gravel and I almost ruined my new snowblower because it the ground got soft because we had that warm-up and I didn't realize and um, I was throwing gravel across the yard it actually broke a, a shear pin and that was a little stressful I, uh, look at this mess too. I got this whole mess to deal with. Those are, <clears throat> all these piles are from when I cleared out all the trees in our backyard. There was a ton of trees. It was a big mess. And I just started tossing them over here. I had way too much work to do over there to even figure out what I was going to do about this. And then I got this big rock pile I got to get rid of this year. Not sure what I'm gonna do about that, but I I gotta clean up. I gotta clean up this area. It drives me crazy every time I pull in the out pull in the yard and I see this big mess. Even these logs and all that stuff for the fire pit. I'm gonna move those in the backyard. Put them near the wood line and put our fire pit over there. So at least when you're at the road, when you pull in it looks somewhat presentable. I gotta clean up everything. My my son's kayak is behind there. I'm gonna hang that up. 
but I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about the soft ground where I'm usually mostly work on my tractor and work out of the shop. It's just I drag all the mud into the house and the dogs drag it in. So yeah. So I like to get your input on it. Find out what I can put down. I actually tried uh the first summer I was here. I uh I actually put I had uh God, I don't even remember how much I had. I had a lot of it delivered. I had stone dust delivered. And uh, that stone dust was all over that concrete pad. And it washed away. It didn't work out. There's my baby. There's my baby. Oh, maybe I should do a, a video tonight when the lights kick on. Whoa! Holy smokes. Turn them off, you crazy plumber. That's too bright. Yep. I couldn't wait any longer. It's only 7 o'clock at night. It's really not that dark out. But took a shower, ate dinner, sitting around waiting for it to get dark so I can show you the darn lights. I'm even wearing my... Like Patriots PJ bottoms. Hey, New England, you know. Uh, so I guess I'll sign off on this one. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace.